everyone. Noah's going to read you a story today. We've been thinking about The Hungry Caterpillar and this book's written by the same person. Noah, can you show us the front cover? The book is called... The, the Very Quiet C C um, Cricket. Good boy. And it's written by Eric Carl, who also wrote The Hungry Caterpillar. Yep. So, it's another mini hungry beast book. Mini beast book. So... Listen up and enjoy. Noah's going to read it to you. Off we go. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome to, to a big cricket. Rubbing his wings together, the little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust. Good boy. Spinning through the air, the little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good boy. I like this book, Mum. It's good, isn't it? Hello, whispered a praying mantis. Scramping. Scraping. Good boy. It tuned front legs together, the little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, but so he rubbed his answer. He rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubble the spittle bug, slurping a sea of a moth of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched uh, Sky, Sky da. I think it's a kickada. Kickada? Yeah. Clinging to a branch, of, clinging to a branch of tree, the little cricket wanted to answer. So he wrapped his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. How are you, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he wrapped his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Ah. Good evening, worried. A dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Oh, poor cricket. But mum, two pages until he finds his voice back. <laughs> Do you think he's lost his voice? I think so. Good night, buzz the mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. That's it. Dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. A lula moth sailed quietly through the night and the cricket enjoyed the silent nurse. Look, Mum. Mm. But uh, is, do you get that in our country? I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, you can get crickets in the, our country. Okay. Because I've heard them. Yeah. What happens next? As the lunar moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. They Then he rubbed his wings together and one more time and this time... Chirp, 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 he chirped, chirp, 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 The most beautiful chirp, sound chirp, that, chirp, he, chirp, that she chirp, had ever chirp. heard. Aww. Which one's the he or which one's the she? I don't know. The end. What a lovely story. Thank you, Noah, for reading us our bedtime story. We really enjoyed it. See if you can find any more books that are written by Eric Carle. He's a great author. Okay, everyone. Bye. Bye.